The South Australian Premier Stephen Marshall says the state has avoided a coronavirus catastrophe as health authorities continue to get on top of the para field cluster. Let's go live now to reporter Dana Morse in Adelaide with the latest. Dana, the Premier says despite the lockdown lifting, the state isn't out of the woods yet. Good afternoon. Yes, well, the Premier was very quick to point out today that South Australia has avoided a catastrophic second wave here by going into that short, sharp lockdown. Now, that was lifted at midnight last night, so today businesses are able to reopen. People are out and about on the streets. Tomorrow, we will see schools go back and getting back to a sense of normalcy here in South Australia. But the Premier is heeding the warning that we aren't out of the woods yet, and let's ha hear what he had to say on that. We need to emphasise that we still do have high level restrictions in place over and above where we were at this time last week. Uh, they're going to be in place through to the 1st of December, so we need people to listen, uh, know those restrictions and abide by them very strictly through to the 1st of December and any restrictions that might be in place uh, thereafter. Stephen Marshall there. And Dana, what's the current situation with the Parafield outbreak? So thankfully today, after almost 17,000 tests done yesterday and over 70,000 done throughout the week here in South Australia, there are no new cases linked to the Parafield cluster and no examples of community transmission. So health authorities have the epidemiological link to every single case here in South Australia. That's got around 4,500 people in quarantine. Health authorities are still warning us, however, that we will have restrictions in place until December the 1st and we need to abide by them in order to stay safe. Professor Nicola Spuria is pushing that message home and let's hear what she had to say. Absolutely why uh, you need to heed these messages. Even though we've now got restaurants, cafes and other places uh, open, everybody has to be COVID safe. Um, people need to remember that basic hand hygiene. You must stay one and a half metres away from other people that you don't know. Now, Professor Spuria was also revealing some epidemiological modelling today, which was part of the reason South Australia went into its lockdown in the first place. So we'll be looking to go deeper into that for our 7pm coverage tonight. However, she was quick to point out that the lockdown was not only caused by this one man who lied at the pizza bar. So it'll be very interesting during the next week to see if there's any leakage in our community or whether South Australia will be back on track to open by December the 1st. Our reporter Dana Moore's there with the latest in Adelaide. The Gold Coast Titans assistant coach Michael Gordon has been stood down.